Hey YouTube, this is Gothic King of the Tube in the video. We're giving some shout outs. To um, hold on a second. I don't think I'm on the wrong video. To Overkill and to Steven nine one one eight eight. Thank you guys for the support. Overkill actually made a tribute to me on YouTube. It's pretty fucking sick. It's in my life. You guys gotta check it out. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> I was flattered. Thank you very much. It's actually on the video response to this video. I'm not a troll. That's cool. Thank you, Overkill. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. I was like, dude, that's fucking awesome. How to become a Cobra Demon? Well, he, Overkill asked that. Um, I'm not recruiting right now, unfortunately. I, you know, I don't know. Um, I can't honestly tell you. I've, I quit recruiting because, you know, I tried that that with my friends in North Dakota and it didn't last very long. You know, I'd like to have my own religion started. And, you know, I'd be, get my dream house built with my symbol on top of the clock tower. I think that'd be pretty sick. But I'll get into my dream house in another video. Meantime, the chi, the chi ball. Um, I'm not recruiting right now, unfortunately. I'm sorry. And I, you know, people were wondering if, I, if they could join up. I, I'm flattered to be honest with you. I thank you, but I'm not recruiting right now. So, oh um, okay. But I can't show you how to do a chi ball. Now, if done correctly, you should be able to feel it in your fingertips, like all along here, okay? What you want to do, when you, first, you got to know your chi. Okay, now, a little history behind this. The show Naruto is actually, has some facts to it, like the chakra points are actually your pressure points. Our bodies run on electricity. Now, to master electrokinesis, you have to be able to manipulate this electricity in your body to make chi balls and shoot electricity at people. So it's a really cool technique. Now, you can channel your electricity and your energy and your energy from these pressure points, gather it all in the center of your hands, picture sparks, electrical sparks flying from your fingertips. Center your breathing. Now, what you want to do is bring it together, bring your hands together, okay? Okay, now at this point, can you feel... Now before you start doing chi balls, you should... I recommend just practicing your breathing, just... Mm, meditating, and... Um, picture sparks flowing from your hands. Now your fingertips will tingle after a while. This is good. This means you're getting it. To some point, you will be able to shoot electricity at your hand. It takes a very long time to train to do this kind of thing. And what you do is, okay, I've been practicing for a long time, and I'm not guaranteeing you'll be able to see anything. I'm not that advanced yet uh, in electrokinesis. But a chi ball. Okay, sit up straight here. Center. Now, if you do this right, you will be able to feel a ball in your hand. You'll feel like a ball of energy. It's really cool. Okay, so rub my hands together here. Okay, here we go.
I can't really see anything, but I can feel it. It feels like I'm holding a gigantic ball of energy. It's really cool. And you don't have to rub your hands together, but it just helps jump start it. So you're not, you know, trying to do it like this to get the ball of energy going. Okay. It's electrokinesis. Google that shit and learn more about it. It's really cool to learn. Definitely want to practice when I'm in John Quar. <laughs> Someone pisses me off, I'd be like, zap. And they're like, ow, what the fuck hit me? Something shocked me. Like, <laughs> but. Uh, now, I've seen videos where these martial artists claiming that to knock people out with electrokinesis. They just point at them and they fall down. I don't know if it's a hoax or a con act, but it, it's pretty cool shit. Now, that's how you charge down from your energy ball. You bring it forth, bring it into your body, breathe in, and exhale. What that does is it recycles your energy, it puts it back in your body so you're not wasting it. Now, if you want to start up again, you don't have to rub your hands, just something I try, it works. You can rub your hands, it jump starts the electricity in your hands, or put your fingertips together, okay? That was practice. Now, to really get it going, okay, stick your fingertips together. I want you to flow the energy through your fingertips. Deep breathing. Center your inner chi. Center your energy, okay? Picture electricity flowing through your hands and your fingertips into the other hand. Here's a little exercise you can do, okay? Do this. If done correctly, it'll feel like you got energy swimming through your fingertips. I can feel it. It's really cool. Okay. They bring them together. Same technique. This will create a current of energy. Okay. It literally feels like I'm holding a ball of energy. This is so cool. My fingers are twitchy. Electrical current I got going here is pretty strong. My whole hand feels like I'm holding an energy ball. This is really cool. If you can do this just right, you'll feel it. It'll, it'll tingle, like I mentioned. Okay. Can you really see anything? Can you see it? Okay, bring it back slowly. And the tingling is gone. I know it doesn't look like much, but try this for yourself and See if you can't feel the energy flowing from your hands. It actually feels like I'm holding a ball of energy. It's really cool. That's how I do a chi ball. I'm sure there's people who say that's wrong, that's incorrect, whatever. It's, it works for me, right? So, yeah. I've done four chi, four, five, six, or six chi balls in the last hour and a half, and like a couple last night. So, I'm brushing up on my electrokinesis. It's a really cool technique. Anyway, how about some guitar playing? Now, I'll be heading to Job Corps on Tuesday. I'll take a piss test Wednesday. I'm confident I'll pass it. I don't do drugs. Okay. But, apparently it's not how you wear a guitar strap. I was informed by this several times, and I thought, okay, I'll just try it like this. This is how you're supposed to wear a guitar strap, apparently. And people, oh, nice. I checked the B9 website. Hey, he's running his guitar shop. Let's, let's encourage it. So, you know, mistakes happen. It's, it's no big deal. There's no need to get pissy over someone with their guitar strap on, is there? Anyway, I'll scoot back so you can see the guitar. There you go. Much better. 
First sweep I learned the first scale was this. Okay, it's gotta slow down here. Practice this. Once you get that mastered, you can apply anywhere on the neck. But so what I did is I just heard the like that, I do like that, and that helped me crunch my fingers to get for sweeping, and then, then I'd apply it anywhere in the neck. Now I picked up a four string sweep, not very fast, but. Once you've mastered three string sweeping, just got the basics of it. You double hand tap and string bend and then blow up into a half upstroke sweep. Next song. Alternate picking is basically up, down, up, down, up, down, all the way down the neck, and that was that was the alternate picking scale, like so. See, the problem with me is I get excited when I, when I actually yell something and I try to run before I walk, and then, of course, I fuck up and play technically incorrect guitar playing. Also, think for my religion. I believe, and I am the messenger for the God, His wife, His goddess, and their son. Basically, it's just what I believe, you know. Just a little bit more in depth on that for my fans who are curious. Okay. 